Hello and welcome to Knit All the Yarn Podcast. My name is Lisa and I live in Michigan with my husband and my kiddos. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Send Me Two Stitches. And this is episode 250. Confetti, confetti. <laughs> I have my coffee and my scrappy knitting, knitting queen mug today because I just realized that all of my whips today are scrap, scrappy projects. So this uh, mug was fitting and then I wore my scrappy shawl that I'll talk about here in a minute. <laughs> the um, pumpkin spice creamer is gone so I am now having peppermint mocha. So if you hear me say pumpkin spice I'm a big liar okay. I've been saying it for the past like I don't know five months six months so it's just wired in my brain so I might say it. <laughs> um, Today is April 4th, 2024, and it's Thursday. Uh, I talked about last week how I have a doctor appointment on Friday morning, and instead of trying to like rush and hurry up and finish before my appointment, I decided just to move it a day early, get it done. And um, so if you're watching this on Monday, it doesn't mean anything. You're like, oh, you're, you're still on Monday. I know you all like my Monday episodes so I decided to instead of doing it on Saturday I think we're staying home this weekend but something might pop up and so here I am on a Thursday now you're probably asking does it look like you lost a day of uh, knitting content no it doesn't so yeah um what else am I going to talk about what else do I say? I just had a, my brain just left my body. <laughs> Let me look at my notes here. Um, I have my stash stats for March. Also all of the, everything that I talk about today will be down in the description box. You have to click the word more a couple times and everything should be down for, down there for you. I will have all of my uh, finished objects, my whips, all of the um, links to all the things, yarns, bags, patterns, Ravelry project pages, if I have any. I think it's just the blankets. I usually don't make project pages for my socks because I make a lot and it seems kind of tedious to have like 70 some pages of socks that are all vanilla all the same size <laughs> I don't know I don't know what do you think is that tedious um yeah I do have my Ravelry group that will also be listed down below uh, I have my knit all the mcals and that's the Stephen West mcals and knit all the scraps I have I did pick two winners one from each uh thread so I will announce that today I might do that every like quarter. That seems like a fun thing to do. And then at the end, I'll pick, uh, pick more winners. Hmm. It was cloudy when I started to record and now the sun came out. So if you see reflection in my glasses, sorry about that. I said it was going to be cloudy. Good thing I pulled the, uh, the shade down just a tad. Otherwise I would have to pause this. <laughs> Okay, let's do the the winners. So for the Knit All the MCALs, I pulled from the Chatter thread because there was only two shawls that were finished, which, good job. Um, I think the very end for the Knit All the MCALs, I will pull from the FO thread at the very, very end. Unless maybe half of the year, maybe at six months or six months maybe June I will we'll see how many air finished objects are in there but anyway this is the winner I don't do um very many very much editing so I'm gonna hold up a sticky note so if this is you I need you to contact me on probably Ravelry would be easiest and um pick a pattern of your choice up to ten dollars USD and I will send it to you so this is Winner NJ73551. Is that right? Yep. It's backwards for me. This is just my notes for next time so that um, 
I will pick post 16 through whatever for the next round. But if that is you and you chattered in the MCALs, contact me. Pick a pattern. It doesn't have to be Stephen West. It could be anything. All right, and knit all the scraps. This one I picked from the FO thread because there was 73. 73 finished objects. You guys are killing it. So this person, oh my word, this one is beautiful. If I remember correctly. I, don't, I didn't write what post the winner was, but this, this person finished a, it was a blanket. I don't know what the pattern was, but it kind of looked like a pinwheel or kind of like, it looked quilted. I don't know what pattern it was. It was not listed on there, but oh, it was beautiful. So if that's you, C-R-F-T-N-U-T-T-225, -T -T you are the winner in that blanket. So that is that. So I'll have you both contact me on Ravelry with a pattern of your choice. And I will get that out as soon as possible. All right. What else do I talk about here? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hmm. I don't think so. I think we're just going to keep going. We're going to go with Stash Stats. I know you're all excited. I, I don't know. Do you guys care about this stuff? I like, I like, I like writing all this stuff down. It's motivating to me. I also need to figure out a way to um, write down when I start the start day of my socks and finish. Because when I post them on Instagram, I usually just post either the day of or the day that I finish them. And okay, of the crazy sock lady, she puts her start and end date, and it's like, I really need to do that. But I don't remember when I cast things on. So I don't know. I don't know how to remedy that. <laughs> because my notebook here, I just say when I want to cast on or finish in like that week. So it's not very accurate. I mean, I have a lot of space here. Maybe I just need to get better at putting cast on dates on there. I don't know, but here we are. Look at all of those finished objects. I just use washi tape and this nice green notebook that I got from Amazon. I write down the weeks and then what I want to cast on or finish and then check them off. Sometimes this changes. Sometimes I don't even fill this out till like the end of the month. <clears throat> I just have what I would like to. Oh, I didn't cross that off. Nope, that's scrappy blankets. Yep, scrappy blankets. Wow, that sun is really coming out. So I added 913 grams. The stress got to me, guys. It did. You know, last month, February and March were not great months for me. And I was, I held it together in February, but once March hit, poof, out the window. But look, look at the grams out. 1,828. <sighs> wow. All right, let's see. I finished one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven pairs of socks. Yep, seven, I think. Looks like three of them were one, two, three, four, five, six. Three of them were DK weight, if that means anything to you. So seven pairs of socks. I finished was it six pairs of slippers? Those crocheted slippers for my dad. I just grouped them all together as one. So 683 instead of writing. Because they were roughly all the same 
uh, grams. It was like somewhere between 112 to 115 each. I finished two magic knot balls and my crochet, my granny stripe blanket. And I made two little chickens. There's one of them. And 30 squares in my Cozy Memories, my DK Weight Cozy Memories. <gasps> Yay! So that's a, that's a lot. Wow. Going to town. I didn't write down my... I was negative for this month, but I don't remember what it was. I have it on my spreadsheet, which I can't view right now because I am filming on my tablet here. So, yeah. I am still a negative. I don't know where I, I should write this stuff down. I think when I posted my spreadsheet for March, I've used like roughly 55 skeins and it's only, it's only March. So I'm really putting a dent. I forgot to talk about my stash. I'll get ahead of myself. You've probably noticed, or if you see me on Instagram, you saw it already. All right, so I bought the Red Heart yarn for the slippers. I did add that last month, and then I just took it out this month after I made this uh, one of my FOs that I'll talk about here. Um, the pink yarn. Hint, hint. <laughs> I decided to add it when I finished my slippers. I took the whole thing out because I gave the rest to my daughter because she wanted the scraps. And what else did I buy? I bought the freckled whimsy um halloween club excited for that and i bought mustache yarn the taylor swift yarn that i'm going to be making hat of i am going to start that this month um i bought a skein of mama jess i haven't got that yet it was a pre-order Kay of the crazy sock lady posted it and i'm like i have to have that for heels toes and cuffs or just heels and toes for my scrappy stripy socks my matchy scrappy stripy socks and the colorway it's it has my name in it so i had to buy it right i will show that when i get it and then i bought the freckled whimsy advent <clears throat> yeah so that was a lot but this month this month it's gonna be all right i think I have two, I have my two clubs and I think I'm going to stick with that. And if I like have the urge to just buy like one extra skein, um, my budget will allow that. And if it doesn't, if I don't feel like it, then that's fine. All right, that's it for grams in and out. I'm excited. So far this this month I'm I'm not negative. Wait, maybe I am. I didn't write down my socks in here. It doesn't matter. We'll talk about April next month. <laughs> okay, um, my shawl here. Forgot to talk about that. I am like all over the place. I think my brain is like, it's not Friday. Why are you sitting here? <laughs> so this is my first ever Stephen West shawl. So I was, I was a big like sock knitter. I wasn't a big shawl knitter and I, I didn't have like, I think this calls for five colors and I wanted to cast on right away and I did not have like a hundred gram skeins that were solids or tonals or anything. And I'm like, what would it look like if I did self striping yarn? So that's what I did. So this is all Knit Picks Felici tier. Nitpicks, bring back the Felici. I don't know if you've noticed Nitpicks, but I haven't been ordering yarn from you because you don't have any Felici. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> so yeah, I just used uh, Felici and then I used Stroll for the I-cord border and I just striped it every two, two rows. It is tedious, but oh, it looks beautiful. So yeah, when it said to hold two colors together, I did. I think this one was two colors. This one was two colors. This one was not. This is just a one color. 
and this big section I just had to break it up and just do one color but oh, see it looks beautiful you can use self-striping for anything also I just had I just this week I remembered I had all these uh oh, I almost dumped that in my coffee um these two knit alongs and then I realized that in the summer months I was gonna do knit all of the stripes because it wasn't at all the fleecy, but then fleecy like disappeared and we're not going to talk about it. But So I was thinking, I think I figured this out last year that I'm going to do knit all the stripes. Are you guys in for that? It will just be for summer and it will probably um, fall in with K of the Crazy Sock Ladies um, summer sock camp. I think she's doing it this year. I think she is. She hasn't said anything yet. But... Oh, I'm excited. I don't know why summer sock camp I get so excited because I knit socks all the time. But anyway, if you would like to, uh, what do you think about that? Should we do it? Knit all the stripes? It doesn't have to be socks. Um, if you do socks, you can double dip in both. But I don't have the dates yet. I will figure that out later and let you know but I think that's gonna happen knit all the stripes you can knit whatever you want or crochet um, yeah I'm all over the place <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for that I think I'm gonna do it usually it's just like a, a three month long cal yeah I think I'm gonna do it what do you think Knit all the stripes question mark yay nay we will see. I feel like I should do it. You guys really like to knit all the fleecy. And this way you can just use whatever you want. If you have fleecy, go for it. If you got Patton's Croy, go for it. You got Opal Regia West Yorkshire Spinners, go for it. If you got the fancy stuff, you can use that too. <laughs> um, my cubes, I rearranged things again. Um, I wasn't quite happy. It didn't seem very full and it was like kind of bugging me. So I don't know if you can see right here. I took all of my shawls, my Stephen West shawls. I think they're all Stephen West. Pretty sure. And I put a piece of cardboard on the bottom because this is like a, it's mesh or it's like a grid. It's like a wire grid on the bottom of these. And I didn't want it snagging on my shawls, so I put a piece of cardboard and oh, I filled it with shawls. So then I combined, no, I had two uh, indie dyed cubes and I just kind of squished them together and then I just moved everything. So yeah, that's all my yarn stash. I feel like it's getting down. I don't know. <sighs> Part of me is like, kind of like, getting uh just a little stressed about it but then part of me is like ah oh, but look I'm actually knitting my stash and I know I can buy more but my budget only allows a certain amount I'm trying to be good so yeah that is the update of the the shot of the uh yarn stash that's my shawl I've been talking for like almost 20 minutes and I'm not even getting on to my FOs okay stop <laughs> I guess I have lots to talk about today. All right, finish object number one. Are you ready? Are you still with me? <gasps> I finished my friend's socks. I think I showed, I had one of these done last week, didn't I? Wasn't I like almost at the toe for the second sock? I think that's where I was. So this is Nomadic Yarns, Getting Lost Upstate. The heels are in not nitpicks. Uh, Lolo did it fulsome. Look at that. Love it. So these are from uh, my friend Amy at Billy Yarn. This is part of her, these will probably be her, uh, her birthday box of socks. I do 15 rows for her cuffs. I think I did 40 rows for the leg. I think. For these ones. Love them. So 
those are done. And then I finished, did I have these cast on? I don't think I did. One moment, please. I think I talked about casting these on, but I did not have them. Yeah, so these were, you didn't even see these as a whip. Bam. Look at these. This is Freckled Whimsy uh, Wanderlust. Wanderlust? This was an August 2022 20, colorway that was sitting in my stash. Wow. This looks like a yellow, but it's like a, it's like a green. It's like a very pale green. Oh, love them. DK weight. Oh, I didn't talk about talk about my needles for my fingering white socks later it's all down below um dk white vanilla socks by cave the crazy sock lady 48 stitches us threes for these i did 10 rows of cuff and then i believe i did 50 rows of leg i think something like that and I used the mini for the heel. I got them to match. Love it. Love these. These are fast. I love the DK weight socks. So that is finished object number two. I didn't say how many finished objects. I have I have three finished objects and three whips. <laughs> I am all over the place. And here is the, the ha ha funny gift. If you followed me on Instagram, oh, they're pretty. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these. Got your sunglasses, okay? Oh. <laughs> Look at these! So I made my dad. These are a pranked, a prank gift, a prank Christmas grif gift, grift. These are those um, crochet slippers that I made a couple weeks ago. I will link the pattern down below. I used a K 10.5 millimeter hook, I believe. I will list my project page down below for these that has all my um, details. I used a red heart yarn. This one is called Pretty in Pink. It is, it is bright. I mean, And I did the size, I think it's, it's the women's large slash men's medium, I think. Oh, look at these. So I can't wait to, to see the look on his face when he gets these. It's going to be hilarious. I have a suspicion that he's probably going to throw them away, but... We'll see. Maybe he'll surprise me. And maybe he'll wear them when I'm I'm over there or something. I don't know. I really don't see him wearing these. But it'd be funny. <laughs> he might surprise me. And uh, that was worsted weight. Worsted weight yarn. One skein of Red Heart gets you a pair of slippers. And you have extra. Or I did anyway. That skein was a little bit larger. It was um, seven ounces, and usually a five ounce skein is plenty. So my daughter has extra. She was happy about that. All right, that is all of my finished objects. Now let's go on to whips. All of my scrappy projects. We're gonna do this one. It's kind of overflowing. Bags by Awesome Granny. I don't know if I talked about doing this or I don't know my, what my thoughts were last week with my next sock cast on, but I did figure it out. I was a little on the fence with my color choices and then I put the heels in last night. I'm like, nope, it's good. It's good. I'm doing a matching, matching scrappy, stripy socks. So if I have one ball of self-striping, I will do one repeat on each sock. If I have two balls, I will, like I am right now, I will, I mean, this one only has this much, and this one has more, because I took, 
five grams out of this one for my cozy memories, my future cozy memories. So obviously, and this is a 12 stripe repeat. So I'm not going to do all 12. I'll probably do the gusset and stop with this one. All right, that's, that's your hint. I am at the gusset on both of these. So this color, so from cast on to this reddish color was one repeat of one color. From this purple to this burgundy, that was all one stripe repeat. And I was like doubting myself. I'm like, that's almost the whole leg. I'm like, mm. So I was a little on the fence, but now I did a little bit of the next color, which was, this was my uh, what is this? My March socks. My St. Patrick's Day socks. And this is all freckled whimsy scraps, by the way. Except for the heels here. The heel, I did the heel flap and the heel turn in, I don't know, this is Lolo did it. Not Lolo did it. Hugh Loco. I do have a couple skeins of, like, really rainbowy neon pipe like bam in your face skeins for heels toes and cuffs because i like i really like these and i plan on making more these are for me so i'm doing them tandem one on each needle i finish a stripe and then i did this one and then i did this repeat and then i did this repeat did it did this right here, did this right here, and then did the heel flaps. I did the heel flaps and the heel turns yesterday on both of these. And I think pretty much all of this yesterday. I don't remember where I was, but I started these on Tuesday. Love them. So we got the gussets. If you're curious about my markers, I will link link a video down below but mostly I just use it for motivation and to make sure they're each both of them are the same size technically I probably don't need to put markers on both of them but it's a habit and so that's what I do so these will be done next week no problem I feel like these are taking me longer but then I have to think I'm doing two at a time essentially I started these on Tuesday, and this is Thursday, so I need to chill. I'm fine. <laughs> this is two days worth of knitting. Because this is Thursday morning. So Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday. Why am I so hard on myself? It's fine. <laughs> so I got more scraps in here. I haven't decided what I'm, what I'm going to do next. But, yeah. I am with a lot of my self-striping. I am now cutting... It takes a little bit more time, but I'm winding the cake up and splitting it into two cakes and so that they match. And when I'm finished, I pull from the inside to get my five grams out for my blanket instead of the outside. So then I have two cakes that will match. I mean, not one of them is going to be less grams than the other one, but they will. I will have a few uh, stripes that will match because these ones are all big and I mean I could divide them but you know they're already caked up and I don't know this one might be a longer repeat I don't know I like this one. so this is what I got to choose from I'm probably not going to use all of them we will see but that's where I'm at so these are fingering weight socks these are on chagu red lace needles 32 inch cord us 1.5 which is a 2.5 millimeter and i'm using the vanilla socks on magic loop by k of the crazy sock lady i do 12 rows of rib i think i did like 70 ish rows for the leg oh, we found it. i want to work on these now so this is my only sock project on my needles but that's gonna change I am going to be casting on something tomorrow, which I need to 
I need to wind that yarn today so that when I get back from my doctor appointment, I can cast on. Ooh, I probably, I probably just made a big mess. Let's not make a big mess for myself, but they're at the state now where it's like, I really need to do the gussets and then they'll be a little bit more manageable in my bag. <laughs> All right, that is my sock whip. Now we're gonna go on to my blankets. Cozy memories, DK weight. I told you I finished 30 squares this month. Whoop, whoop. Or in April, March. I still don't know what month it is. So I finished six squares uh, this week. From there to there. Oh, look at that pink one. That's another one that I think I'm going to steal for um, scrape stripey, scrappy, matchy socks. <laughs> I think this was a homespun house. I think this was one that Amy got me. And these two are my yarnable ones. These two are either Harry Potter or um, My Little Pony Advent from Dragon, not Dragon Roots, from Yarn Cafe Creations. And that one was the yarnable. Probably one of my first ones. So I put those in there. We are now at 72 squares. <laughs> Funny. If you get it, you get it. Oh, my foot really fell asleep. So my stitch marker here is from Twin Mountain Handcrafts. I did order some. They're not here yet. They should be here pretty soon. But I'm going to move that when I do my next square. But I finished a whole row, so that was like satisfying. So I'm 12 squares wide. 72 squares total right now. I have no idea how. Is that six rows? Six rows of 12. Got a lot of pink in here. A lot of pinks. Um, I'm using the Cozy Memories, the Coziest Memories by Kemper Ray. That's a pattern I'm using. I'm modifying it a little. I'm doing 20 stitches by 20 stitches. I'm using Fingering White Help Double by itself. And I'm using US, do do, look at my notes, US 4, 3.5 millimeter. I do have a project page listed down below for this. If I miss something, I will also have how I do my ends. So we get those little Vs. So it's very, very easy to pick up stitches. I will have that listed in there too. Oh, I love my blankie. I'm still obsessed with scrappy blankets. We'll see what happens when it gets warm out. All right, put them away. Or I might just stick it out or just work on them like in the mornings before it gets too hot. So six squares this, this week. And now I got my crochet blanket. This one doesn't look like it got a lot done. But I know I worked on it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I worked on it this morning. So this one might look like I didn't get a lot done, but we're gonna show it anyway. Here's my magic, the state of my magic knot ball. I have 30 grams left. This will be done this week. I wanna finish it. And then I will be adding it to my grams out. When I finish Magic Knot Ball, I just go ahead and add it. I'm not waiting until the blanket's done. We're not doing that anymore. And that way it's more motivating to finish one. So I can stick it in my, uh, in my grams out. It's very motivating. Highly recommend. All right, I got some more Twin Mountain Handcrafts. Got my coffee ones. These are the wooden ones. I got that. I just plopped that on there so that I would remember to. We're going to switch it up because I have, oh, let's see, from here down was my February. And from there to there was my March progress. Oh, look at that. I'm all crazy. I just decided I'm going to leave them on there. And then we can see how much months. It actually takes me to finish. The marker's stuck. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
beautiful. I can kind of see it in the screen. <laughs> so here's my progress from this week. Not a lot, but it's okay. Maybe two inches, three inches. Love it. I usually just work on this in the mornings. Um, Monday through Friday. But I don't know. With this, the state of this ball, I might... I might work on it this weekend. We will see. All right, I'm going to put my new marker in here. And that will be the one I will use for um, April. We'll see how far that one can go up. I still have a lot of scraps. I don't know what, if this is ball number five. I think this is ball number five and I try to get them anywhere between a hundred and I like to do 120 130 uh, grams I do have in my project page I have a video for the magic knot ball and for this pattern I chained 302 stitches using a D hook so D, yep, D, 3.25 millimeter. This is a clover. Clover one. I love these. These are my favorite. And let's see what else. Size of this. I forgot. It's in my project page. I think it's 54 inches. I think. 54 inches. And that is that. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. And I mean, I'm holding, this is all fingering weight and I'm doing any, anything. I got self striping in here. I got, uh, there's some Stellina stuff in here. I got 80, 20, I got 75, 25, pretty much all fingering weight held by its, by itself. Single, single strand. And it's like kind of awkward to fold, but here we are. This will be done. I will finish this. So like I try to work on it for like 45 minutes, half hour, an hour. That's usually all my, my hands can take. After that it's like I'm playing Russian roulette with injuries <laughs> or with achy hands. So I try not to do a lot of it at once. Okay, that's all my knitting. So if you're not here for uh, reading and watching life stuff, and I have some acquisitions. I, my acquisitions are my Freckled Whimsy Club. So if you have not gotten yours for April, you might not want to watch the rest. Or when I show it, I will... Maybe I'll show it right now. I probably should show it right now because I might forget. Okay, I'm going to show them right now. So if you don't want to look, you can fast forward or close your eyes. I'll try not to talk about the colorway names or the colors that are in them, but oh, they're beautiful. Love them. So I did want to make a note. I did have three clubs. I had the um, Harry Potter, the Christmas, and the Halloween. I decided that's probably way too much. Um, I think my next month I'll have three so I did end up canceling the Harry Potter one. Kind of breaks my heart a little, but it's okay. It's okay. I can't, three clubs is, if I get three clubs, I can't get anything else. Or it's like really, you know, my budget's really like, ooh, I don't know about that. So I decided to just keep two clubs, the Christmas and the Halloween one, which will be fun. And the Halloween one, I don't know if I'm going to knit it. Like as soon as I get it, I might save it for like August or September. So that's my plan. We'll see. I, st I will still be knitting the Christmas one. So I'm going to show you the Harry Potter one for April. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. So if you haven't got it, close your eyes. Okay, okay I'm closed. I will show you the name. I will not read it. Hopefully you can read it. Look at that. Beautiful. 
I don't know when I'm going to knit this. I might put this in my stash. Since I canceled it, I might savor it. All right, I'm going to show you the Christmas one. Now, the Christmas one, um, mine didn't have a tag on it. So I was contacting some, I contacted Stacy. I'm like, Stacy, did yours have a name on it? And she said, no, mine didn't either. So and there was a couple of people that contacted me saying, do you know what the colorway name is? So Stacy contacted Carrie from uh, Freckled Whimsy and we figured out the coloring name. So I have it on a sticky note here. So if you can read my handwriting. And then I wrote March 2024 and I had to scratch it out because I don't know what month it is, obviously. But these, these are the ones that I'm going to be casting on on Friday. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to show it. So close your eyes. Eyes closed. So here is, if you can read my handwriting, that is the coloring name. And that's how many repeats it is. So if you can't read that, you can message me and I will tell you. Oh, I can't wait to knit this up. Okay, I've put them down. You can open your eyes. I got them both on DK. DK 7525. Put the tag over that one. 75 superwash merino, 25% nylon. 245 yards per 100 grams. Love them. So, yeah, those Christmas ones are being cast on Friday. And they will probably be done. Probably be done on Monday. Probably gonna work on them all weekend. Probably. They'll probably be done Monday or Tuesday. So when you're watching this, they're going to be done. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see. If I can tear myself away from those scrappy socks. I don't think my scrappy socks are going to be done. By tomorrow. Probably not. Alright. That is my stash uh, acquisitions. Now we're going to do reading and watching reading i finished throne of glass yes i finished it it was so good i loved it so i moved on to book two which is crown of midnight i'm only like a few chapters in but so good so far i know these books get thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker as the series goes on <laughs> uh i am I don't know which book it is. There's two books. I don't know if it's five or six. Six or seven. I think it's five and six. They're both like 700 pages. And I plan on reading them tandem. I saw there was a spreadsheet somewhere. Or a checklist. Uh, I guess it's the same, same time period. But different characters are in one and not the other. So they... Somebody made up this list of what how to read like you read so many chapters of book five, book five then you read so many chapters of six then you go back to five six five six and the amount of chapters is different so whoever made that up thank you that that looked like a lot of work and I've heard a lot of people that have read them together said it was it was excellent to read them like that so that's the plan um, yeah, so just read, just look up, uh, Throne of Glass series tandem read for 5-6, book 5-6. I'm sure something will pop up. I've seen a couple and they were all the same, so that might take me four months to finish that, but, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. And I'm reading those on my Kindle. And my audio book is Golden Sun, which is the second book in the Red Rising series. It's okay. I tech, I think I read this already and I gave it two stars. So I don't know if it's not as good. Usually the second books in the series aren't very good, but I'm going to stick with it. It's audio. It should go pretty quick. So that's my reading. Watching. My husband and I finished Futurama season 11. 
which is on Hulu. We are watching Rick and Morty Season 7, that is also on Hulu. Those are where we left off, because we had Hulu at some point, and we just wrote down where we left off on TV shows and just finished watching whatever we didn't watch. Um, still watching Doctor Who. I'm on season 19. I did not finish a season. Probably because I... This is only three days worth of TV. That makes sense. I don't know if I'll watch any today. We'll see. Usually I don't on recording days, but we'll see. Fifth Doctor. He did not rip out any scarves yet. Or any more scarves. <laughs> if you watched my last episode, you know what I'm talking about. I think he gave me like, a, he, there was like, when that happened, it was like, um, like a bad impression. And now I can't get over him ripping that scarf out. And I, I he's not, I don't like him, <laughs> but I'm going to finish it. Yeah. He's not my favorite. Mm -mm. Yeah. So he better do something very, you know, like I better see him knitting or something to win me over because I, no, I can't. <laughs> If I see him knitting, then maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll start to like him, but I haven't seen any, uh, do uh doctors knitting, so, yeah, we need to fix that. <laughs> okay, movies. On Netflix, we watched, uh, Dams, Damsel, Damsel? Uh, that was 2024, that's a new movie, I don't know if that's a Netflix movie. It's really good. Go watch it. It has, uh, oh, what's her name? Millie something. Millie something. The, uh, Eleven. The person that did Stranger Things in Eleven. You know who I'm talking about. She's in it. Very good. We watched Self-Reliance. That was on Hulu, I believe, 2023. That one was really good. I like that one. So our guy was doing, like, a reality type show kind of intense. It's good. I kind of figured out the ending, but there was a twist that I wasn't, that I didn't see at the end, so that made me happy, but it was very good. And then, of course, I watched the Taylor Swift movie <laughs> because I have to watch it at least once a week until we have, until we cancel Disney because, because I'm a Swifty. There's also another Taylor Swift movie on there. I think it is. Is it folklore? It's only two hours. I don't know if it's a concert or if it's like a documentary type thing. I might watch that today or tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe I need a. Maybe I'll need a pick me up after my doctor appointment tomorrow. <laughs> maybe I'll need something to lift my spirits. Nothing, nothing bad. It's just my normal checkup. And I like my doctor, so hopefully everything is a-okay and I'll be in and out of there quick and there won't be any issues. <laughs> but that's, that's it for my reading and watching. Life stuff real fast. I already talked to you about my doctor appointment, which is tomorrow. Uh, what else happened this week? The, the teenagers, the teenage is coming out of my, my kids. The teenagers are, they're starting to erupt and I don't like it. Oh man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a rough couple of years. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Um, the eclipse will be on Monday. I still don't know if I wanna go. I could all ask your opinion, but by the time this is uploaded, I have already made my decision. I was going to go, and then I'm like, no, I'm not. And now I'm like, is it really a big deal? Am I making too a big deal out of this than it is? I don't know if I want to be in the car all day. <laughs> uh, being home by myself all day sounds way more exciting and fun than seeing the eclipse. I mean, I will see some of it, 
I think it's like 90% totality here where I live. So I don't know. Is it really worth it? I know this will probably be the only time in my lifetime that I will be able to see it. Probably because the next one is 44, I think, and it's going to go in a different direction than me. I'd have to travel even farther to go see it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to be in the car all day. That doesn't sound like fun. And I'm sure it's going to be a stressful drive. My husband did pick out a route that's not the freeway, which makes me like, okay, that's all, you know, dandy, but I feel like we're going to get lost. And I don't know if I want to deal with that. That's too much stress for me. Is it worth the stress? I don't know. My gut's telling me no. My gut's telling me just stay home. But then my, my part of me is like, stop being a party pooper. You need to get out of the house more. I don't know. So I'm still on the fence. I'm leaning towards staying home, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and, you know, I have a weak bladder and I have to drink my coffee. My husband's going to be mad that we have to stop every so often because I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> If I don't drink coffee, I'm going to get this massive headache and I'm not going to be fun to be around. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. I tried to make these videos short, but here we are at 51 minutes. So I hope you have lots of knitting done. I don't think I have anything else. I think we're, the weather is going to start to warm up. Like maybe lower 60s. It's been like low 40s, maybe high 30s this week. We got some rain slash snow. That was not fun. We got a lot of rain on. It was Monday. Or was it over the weekend? I don't remember anymore. We got some rain. We got some snow. It did not stick, but it was enough just to go, really? Really? It says April. Can we stop? Can we stop with the snow? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like summer, but I get to the point where it's like, I'm just done. I'm just done with snow. I mean, I would rather pick winter over summer. But I get to a point where it's like, okay, I just, maybe I just like different things. I like to look forward to the next season. Maybe that's what it is. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to be casting on my Christmas freckle whimsy socks on Friday. After that, I don't know. We'll see what meets my fancy. What strikes my fancy? I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't picked anything out yet. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put them right down there. I do love reading them. And hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.